What's up, people? This is Red Edge here with Onimusha Part 35. Hello. We are about to go behind this door. It's ball, everybody. Door number one. Uh, Hatsu, or Jubei, not Ohatsu. Jubei's about to die. Why? Gosh. I don't remember when she got beat up, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, that's right. I think it was that... <gasps> Ooh, cutscene. What? I think it was that guy that, like, imitates your fighting styles. Hmm. It's missing... I bet it was Team Rocket. <laughs> it seems Best like... villains. Really? They're not even villains when you think about it. Like, they never really... Best Pokemon villains. Too noisy. Too noisy. I like how he's... St like you. I like how he starts a conversation. He's like, hey, hey, shut up. I'm talking here, okay? This is all about me right now. I'm Rosencrantz. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, we're going to stab him, but not just him. We're also going to have to fight him. Wait, what? I, uh... You wouldn't know this song. Nope. Anyway. So apparently the Darkstone, not even necessary... Not even necessary for the Darkstone to be in the factory. It's 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 up in the sky. Somehow. Jump. <laughs> throw Jubei! Throw her. Just throw her really, Roberto, really just hard. just toss her up there. Like in The Incredibles. You know, I think that was a movie about superpowers, so... You're telling me Roberto doesn't have superpowers? Oh, it's just an elevator. How nifty. Yeah. I like how it's like... They'll just take him up there. <laughs> like how, how nice! It's, it's like, it's up there. You'll never get it. Let's now we're up going there. up there. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 why? Couldn't you just fight us down here and then even if we won... We still wouldn't be able to get it. Yeah, we're still fucked. Like, I, I don't see any real merit in, uh... Oh, well, I forgot about the... S bad Soki. Bad Soki. Have you ever heard... Dead Soki. Have I ever heard what bird? Heard what? Brian Bird! Bird, 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 bird. I died. I died. I did not know poison could actually kill you. I thought it could only lower you down to almost dead. Apparently it could kill you. Well, weren't you stabbed by... No, that was Soki. Oh. I'm just gonna skip the elevator scene because yeah. it took way too long. It was a very long You know what? Scene. I think we're gonna have to fight him the same way we fought him the first time. Just go into in Super Saiyan mode. Yep, go into Super mode, and just okay. Never mind, because he did his centipede arm thing uh, and Soki attacked me. Okay, so the answer is apparently immediate Super Saiyan mode. Wrong button. That was not the menu button. It does not matter. No, I was gonna say. Have you ever heard of like? I think it's called like the seven minute lull or something like that. No. Oh, it's so, um, you've been having a conversation for seven minutes straight, and then all of a sudden, after, almost around exactly seven minutes, everybody just kind of stops talking. No. Until someone comes up, until someone starts it up again. No, I've never heard of that. You've never heard of that? No. They did a lot of, not a lot of studies, but there's been some pretty interesting studies about it. Really? Yeah. But we Sarah talk really likes it, because she always keeps track. We talk for like 15 minutes at a time. What but does that you, make us? You don't notice the pauses every once in a while? Well, I usually am pausing when I'm having to do like a major hard fight or something. Usually around seven minutes, I run out of things to say. So I stop for a second and then I think of more things to say. Well, this is all irrelevant right now because it's four minutes, but... Yeah, so is this like your excuse that you're... No, no, no. <laughs> Is this your excuse of why you can't? No, it's just because whenever I've been out with a big group of friends now, we've been like all in a conversation, like even in like separate conversations. If we're all at the same table but having separate conversations, it's like after seven minutes, all of us are just kind of like... And then it starts up again. Yes, nothing quite... There's it's nothing like a seven minute lull or something like that. There's nothing quite like having a conversation where you're keeping track of time 
<laughs> you really show how much, how good of friends you are when you are literally counting the minutes you no, have to talk to people. No, we're not. It's just... I know, but that's what it sounds like. Ever since she told me that, whenever I hear something go quiet, I look and I'm like, oh... And my, like you know, like it looks like it's been seven minutes. But to know it would be seven minutes, you'd have to be recording from the start. No, it's because like with a big group of people, um, like after seven minutes, you you know, there's one one pause, and I look at my phone. And I'm like, because usually that's what I do when there's a pause. I look what time it is, just out of habit. I just always have. Because these people um, are just like the worst, and you don't want to talk to them. No. <laughs> um, Hey, hold still, centipede man. I'm trying to cut you. And then we'll all start talking again, and then we'll all stop, and I'll look at my phone, and it's been like seven minutes. Huh. It's like a real thing. I mean, I believe I, I believe that it's an actual phenomenon, but I, I think the fact that it... I think the fact that it always tends to happen at seven minutes is probably more characteristic of people's ability to hold a solid conversation um, than anything, which is kind of what you're talking about, but... Mm -hmm. It's not so much that people always run out of things to say, it's more just, if you look on average, conversations probably only last about seven minutes on average. That'd be the more likely explanation. I guess. Well, we've um, had to push those boundaries. Well, I mean, I guess? Unless you would all prefer just at, in at time. seven minutes. Yeah, we could do seven, minutes epi seven minute episodes no, just, if you prefer. No, just at seven minutes we just pause and then go. We would get nowhere in seven-minute episodes. True. Speaking of getting nowhere, he's not turning visible. I can't kill him. I'm just wasting literally all of my absorption here. So why'd you do it? Because I died. Oh, and you can only do it when you die? No, it's just if you have the bar to do it when you die, you immediately do. And that move is... Mm, that that move's bad, yeah. It's okay. He may be dead. He is dead. <laughs> I was able to switch to Jubei in time. And in the end, that's all that matters. Am I eating up all of my medicine? Yes. Do She's I give a crap? She's not going to be able to kill him, though. Probably not. But she's able to kill Soki, who is coming after her. And death. Not death. Oh, that's right. Super she can speed. slow it down. This is so cool. This is, like, the best. It's actually really good if you have a good weapon. But she really doesn't have, like, the best weapon in the game, obviously. Well, why don't you upgrade it? Um, because it's still arguably one of the best weapons I have right now. Oh, yeah, that's her. Uh, so, obviously, as you've seen, nobody can do magic while in uh, their super mode. Uh -huh. Like, Soki does his little wide swinging thing. She just mm -hmm. dashes through people. Fight it! She's fine. Sure. Besides, I can use a level 3... Which will seek him out because it's light. And kill him. Yay! Just like that. I knew Jubei was cool. Actually, it's more that she just has a light weapon. but And I don't mean that in terms of weight. I mean that in terms of attribute. It's kind of fitting for her to kill him. Is Why? Isn't he her uncle or something? No. Oh. That's Claudius. Oh. If Isn't anything... That's you... Claudius! Yeah. Her uncle's Munanori. Oh. If anything, um, the one who has the biggest connection with him is Tenkai. Hmm. Because he's kind of the leader of the Triumvirate, and Tenkai was the first one to stop him, as you saw in the opening cutscene way back in episode one. Oh, I don't remember that at all. He was fighting with him on the rooftop mm -hmm. before we even know. Oh who yeah, yeah, of them yeah, were. yeah! Both of them were fighting each other. Yeah, Tenkai's kind of his enemy, the same way Rosencrantz is Roberto's. Oh, okay. Ohatsu's big enemy is her sister, or the person who's pretending to be her sister. Uh -huh. Um. Jubei's is her is uh, her uncle, and Soki's is the big baddie, of course, Hideyasu. But he's tiny. Okay, the the tiny guy. Uh oh, your boyfriend. Uh, all of them, they're all getting wrapped by tentacles. Genma. And this is a Japanese game, so I'm afraid oh, to see gosh, where this will go. Stop. I'm just stop, saying, stop, the internet's stop, a dark stop. place. Jubei's even got her hands tied above her. Oh my gosh, that is so inappropriate. Yeah, especially because I'm pretty sure she's like an underage kid. <gasps> Who's Sac that? Sakon. The guy with the fire wave? Yeah. Why is he doing, what is he doing here? We broke his mask. Oh, that's 
so he's not being mind controlled anymore. He fell off the boat, sank to the bottom, and somehow made it here, where he promptly jumped up a tower. So he's the red demon. No, that's Tenkai. Oh. He just happens to be in red. Oh, okay. Just. Let's tell you. Yeah. Ooh. So his body is now dead. Similar it's to how. Not even my true form. Similar to how Ohatsu's, quote, sister was the fake body. Ew! Ew! This is ew, his real body. Ew! 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 ew. Uh, no. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 I don't even want to look, but I have to because... No, 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 ew! Ew, 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 She really hates centipedes. I hate centipedes. Well, actually, I think that's a millipede. I hate peeds. You hate peeds? Centipede millipede. Inchipede, I just hate it. Inchipede? Anyway, Roberto's Roberto's going in to uh, bust some balls again. And we're going to fight a giant centipede. Oh, God, I hate them so much. I, I think everyone is aware. That's the reason, like, everyone was telling me that James and the Giant Peach is, like, a good movie when I was a kid. I couldn't watch it because of the damn centipede. I can't... Look uh, at him. Look at him clicking oh, away. No, it's Look at him. Oh, God. Oh god, we are not any- I can't see this, but I'm sure you can hear it. I'm so upset right now, I'm moving and like wiggling. Oh. Yeah, if she was a cat, she'd actually be hissing right now. Oh god. It's not even a joke. She would just straight up be hissing at the moment. I hate it. It's so gross. Oh. Ah, I can't really fight him too well. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. But he doesn't make it. He doesn't make it easy. If you hit him, ah, damn it, I missed. Okay, so I I know what I'm supposed to do here. It's just really really hard. I'm gonna um, be sick. Ah, damn it. Because you can't ever see him when he's coming. That's like the really bad thing. Oh my god, she's like actually. About I'm to be gonna sick. be sick. Oh, I hate such to be so much. Died. It's more my mind now that's like I amping it up. Where to God if you puke. I'm not gonna. You better not. Anyway. Oh, God, I hate it so bad. So it's kind of hard to see, but he's got a big green, like, gem on the very back of his body. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta aim for. <laughs> but, like, what I was saying, I think I might have freaked out while I was in mid sentence or something, but everyone was saying, you gotta watch James and the Giant Peach. I couldn't because of the centipede. Yeah, I hate it. I wonder, hey, Just viewers it. at home, how do you think she feels about centipedes? Just kill it. I'm trying. It's a boss. It's not very easy. In fact, if anything, it's a, damn it, I missed. It's a really hard boss because he continues moving constantly until you hit him. Um, and you can only stop his movements if you hit him in the green tail, which is, in the green part of his tail, which is really, really hard. You know what other bug I really, ah, really, cause really hate you? Because he moves so fast. I don't think technically... Earwigs. Oh, well, that's good. I need those. That's, that's a, with a good reason. Those things are actually, like, dangerous, potentially, if they get into your ear. They can oh, rupture your eardrum or something. And, oh. and ticks. ticks. Well, yeah, ticks suck blood, so... And Lyme disease. They can spread it. They don't suck it. Yeah. Anyway, um, what's really, really... What's really, really bad about him is he moves so fast that it's it's almost impossible to actually hit his weak spot until yeah you just have to get like super lucky with hitting it basically. There do you, is. Do you still make like do some damage when you hit him? You do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like from... anyway. It's like this. A centimeter. A, um, not a millimeter? Oh, no, a millimeter. Millimeters are smaller. My bad. Not like a centipede versus a millipede? Ugh. I just, I even hate... Actually, millipedes are bigger. Ugh, well, they're no. longer. <laughs> oh, God. I think, what, I think what I'll have to do, because I really don't feel like fighting this guy for, like, a super long episode, is if I'm remembering there's a really easy way to beat him, when he's doing all those burrowing attacks like he was. He's obviously not currently doing it. He's doing his flying around thing. Which is where he likes to drop poison. 
draw poison or put poison? Drop. Drop with a P. What? Oh. No! Fucking hook onto him. Anyway, there you go. That's what you can do. Woo! Sneaky, sneaky! You can slow him down. Now, this will do a lot of damage if you hit him in his weak spot, but uh, it's still not enough to kill him. Yeah, As you can but, see. I mean, it's getting it better. And I can't really see him. It just looks. Looks better. Ugh! Ugh! Oh my god, it's not that bad. Will you s stopping a drama queen? No. Can I ever? It would be nice if you could try right now. I'll try, but I might have to be silent. There we go. I... So, leave in the comments down below if there is a bug or something out there that just makes you. By the way, I forgot to say, um, I'm pretty sure centipedes aren't bugs. What are they? Bugs are required to have, or I'm sorry, that's in insects, which I think bugs are just really a slang term for, yeah. are required to have six legs. They have a three They have a three body part system with a head, abdomen, and thorax, and six legs. Um, I'm pretty a sure. Spider that's has eight legs, right? A bug, is, uh, a spider is an arachnid, though. It has eight legs. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure to be a bug, it can only have six legs. Obviously, centipedes and millipedes do have way more. I'm pretty sure they're not classified as bugs. <laughs> I'm looking it up right now. And... <gasps> I guess I take it. Picture. I guess I take back my sentence um, previously. He's not a hard boss. Arthropods. Yeah, he's an arthropod. <laughs> um, they're not. This boss isn't particularly hard per se. It's more very time consuming because he goes down for health very very slowly which really begs the question why has roberto not beaten the stone into dust by now i don't know like how jubei just stand there is just standing there doing nothing well what what can she do right now i had him paused and she wasn't attacking oh i didn't know that i had her set to wait and recover for a while but i un i set her to follow an attack when Maybe I was actively couldn't. attacking, and she's just doing nothing. Which way is he gonna come? It's like playing whack-a-mole. There he is. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I just can't now. She's reaching dangerous levels of white Basic girl. Basic white girl. She, if she says she can't even, it's coming. Like, I feel like it's coming. <laughs> just kill it. I'm working on it. Work on it faster. Part of the problem as well with fighting this boss is you are locked onto his head. That's so stupid. Not his tail. Now, locking onto his head is nice to see where he's going, but it doesn't do anything for actually hitting his weak point, which obviously as his tail is kind of the important one. It's actually funny. The move Jubei just did, the Rising Falcon, where she like just, just jumps up at the enemy is actually one of the best moves for dealing damage to him because it does consecutive hits as it rises. I like that as um, a Native American name. What, Rising Falcon? Rising Falcon. Anyway, it does consecutive hits as she rises, which means since he's moving, it can potentially do a lot of damage. Oh, no, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm working on it. What do you think it I've been right, doing? It was right there. Oh. Okay, what did I say? Seriously. You know your seven minute lull theory? Yeah. This has been ten minutes of you saying literally nothing. Seriously, if I. You've actually said no words besides. Eh, eh, kill it! Yeah, that. That's, those have been your What's only words. What's something that makes you just go bleh? People who keep making the same annoying sound. You asked. Mm. Okay. Um, what did you think of James and the Giant Peach? The eh. movie, not the book. Overrated. I don't think it's the masterpiece a lot of people think it is. I think it's a very. I think it's more nostalgic. Well, it doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. Like, the whole rhino thing. Like, where the hell did what that come from? Thing? The aunts keep like taunting him that a rhino ate his parents, and if he's not good, they're gonna. It's gonna come eat him too. It's like. It was a rhino-shaped cloud that he had in a flashback, and it literally never makes another appearance until the end of the movie, and it's just another cloud, and it's never explained. 
I think it's supposed to be the personification of his fears. I thought it was just because the ants, you know, hated him and were, like, trying to, like, scare him into, like, submission. Except when he's in New York, an actual rhino cloud appears. I don't remember this. It did. And he, like, he, like, gets Maybe. it away with his bravery. And, I'm like, I get the message, but it's, like, how does that even happen? That doesn't make any sense. Wasn't it all in his head anyway? I it's uh, maybe, but it's never very well stated. Okay, she did not dodge out of the way in time. I don't know, but I thought the animation was bad. Um, I think the animation was halfway decent for what it, what the kind that it was. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad animation per se. It's, it's more, just, it, it was a limitation Disney. of well, no. It's a Disney movie. Yeah, but, but it, it's not Disney animation. Well, it was a side project. It wasn't regular Disney. Yeah. Um, it, like I don't think it ever had a mainline theater appearance. Oh no, it definitely came out in theaters. Did it? Yeah. Huh. I remember because I used to have VHSs. So do I, but that doesn't. There were. And when the, you're on VHS, you say it says coming soon to theaters, and then it did the James and the Giant Peach. Trip. Oh. Well, his health is going down, but man, is there still a lot left of it, like, for what I wish it would have. I mean, we're, we're hitting his tail enough that it's going slowly, but, uh, this emphasis on the slow part. Mm -hmm. There's actually something I'm gonna do to speed this along a little more. And it depends on him coming back. Uh, he's, he's Are you just gonna circling do the slow around. down thing? No, 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 I'm gonna do her magic. Um, it takes a good chunk of his health. The light magic is honestly one of the best in the game. Mm -hmm. I would say probably the best attribute of, of magic is light. Mm -hmm. Because what it does at level 2 and 3 is it does its hit, and then it launches out light things like that. Mm -hmm. Which can track an enemy. Um, so because they follow them, it can hit enemies like it's him who don't stand doing still. Anything, though. Already, he used it. That was the balls of light she just shot out. Oh, like yeah, but I thought, like, it was, like, there were supposed to be things following him, so... Well, they already hit him. Oh. So they stopped following him. I don't know. You know, I... Back to your whole seven-minute lull thing. This has been a particularly long episode, um... But it's it's because I didn't want to cut the boss fight, which this is a continuation of. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just, like, cut it in, in the middle. Um, so we're gonna continue this until he's beaten... Or if we suddenly die out of nowhere, obviously that would be the end of the episode. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. We have a lot of medicine still, and he's really manageable, except when Jubei is an idiot and literally stands on the shadow spot where we know he's coming. Like, not that hard. If you see a big black, or you see a big purple shadow below you, don't fucking stand there. Like, I didn't think it would be that hard of a concept, Jubei. I really like that platform. What, the one we're standing on? Yeah, it's pretty. I guess, for a giant thing that a uh, centipede man raised us up on into the sky to punch a ball of darkness. That's why we're here! I know. This game is weird. Why didn't she warn me about the centipede? Because <laughs> I wanted to see your reaction. You may not remember, in the first tower when we fought Mitsunari the first time, I said I wanted to see your reaction to a certain boss. Obviously, oh, this was that boss. This was that boss. Yeah, I couldn't remember if he um, if he transformed in that fight or the next one. Obviously, it was the next one. Mm -hmm. um, okay, one more good combo should do it. Just don't die. I didn't. Jubei died again, but I'm fine. He was right on poison, so I didn't want to go swinging into yeah. him that time. Close as he is to death, I'm not risking it just to get some more damage. This should do it. There we go. Yeah, thank goodness. Okay, we killed Mitsunari. Jesus Christ, this was a long-ass episode of it, though. Anyway. You know, I get that we were, like, distracting him and all, but... Seriously, why didn't he ever just go for Roberto? Like, he could have just grabbed Roberto with his pinchers and thrown him off. <laughs> I love this part, though. It's like, we have defeated you. We win. No, you lose. Because you have to make it to Kyoto in seven days. Like, 
making it to another city that's like 50 miles away in today's day and age like that's a fucking car drive like not mm-hmm. even that's like a, a, not even a full Uh-oh, what day happened to him? oh he got caught in the blast he was at the bottom Remember? Mm-hmm. He was down at the bottom waiting. Yeah. Aww. He broke his papa's heart. And his balls. Kind of a weird combination. Yeah. But we're finally done with How much do you think they the smell? lab. How badly do you think they smell? Considering that they're constantly getting monster blood splashed on them. Pretty bad. Do you think they like dip in the pool, like not in a pool, in a pond or oh, pool I'm sure they, water? Oh, I'm sure they arrived on they arrived on a boat here, yeah. and then they were at a beach. I'm sure that we, I'm sure that they did, but you know, I, I, it doesn't mean they don't still smell. There is a way. Sack on, everybody's favorite. Why is it everybody's favorite? I don't know. Oh. Go I think to I've this heard that's for the invasion of the main what? that name before, Sakon. Uh, yeah, he was a person in a lot of Japanese legends or something. I don't know. And like, what about in a uh, in an anime we watched? I don't think so. Hmm. I just remember someone yelling, Sakon! It might as well be. I don't know. How will you assault Nagoya Castle with just five people? We won't. We'll only assault it with two at a time. Soki and one chosen party member. That's just how it goes. Anyway, though, this has been a long, long episode. So, until the next one, we'll see you later, everybody. Centipedes are gross. Bye. I'm going to get a pet centipede. Oh, don't you dare. Bye.